go boys youtubers gunners subscribers it's been a while since i did a youtube video um just kind of been thinking of what we're gonna do with the civic and um definitely came up with some ideas of what we're gonna be doing here soon show you guys what we got here So there she is boys, all wheel drive K-series transmission, complete with half shaft, all wheel drive, comes with the uh, uh, clutch slave, shifter mech, uh, sucks that they cut the cables but it's not like we're going to need them anyway. Um, I will be putting the information on where I got this from. It comes with the clutch, flywheel bolts, and all that stuff. I'll put a little bit more uh, description on where it came from. So yeah, guys, here it is. We're going all-wheel drive on the Civic. Got a few more little updates we did here. Real nice and clean. So now with the transmission and everything we're going to be doing uh here we got a whole new series of the build which is going to be all wheel drive and then real quick guys i don't know if uh some of the youtube followers are following me on uh, instagram but on instagram i show like all the little small detail stuff i do to the car because like i just added this type r strut bar just to kind of make it clean OEM even though I already had the SI one I think the polished type R and then because I already have like the type R C type R shift knob and then just kind of going with the type R theme all around like we have the type R covers we have the type R manifold we have the type R RRC manifold not manifold sorry pulley I'm not sure if you guys can see it down there um what else we have type r on here a few little type r things here and there once we go over the car if you guys have been following this build i'll show you type r seat the american with the red stitching and then we have the type r shift knob so just a few little type our parts here and there just because I like you know little rare OEM stuff the type R strut bar originally this bracket is flipped the other way but you guys won't be able to fit it with the K series valve cover uh, unless you flip the bar which is real simple you guys just unscrew the if you guys are gonna get the strut bar real simple from right here Honda just made it simple so um, Another quick little, so we got our AM ECU. Um, this is where we're gonna probably start tuning the car. Probably won't be driving it here soon just because I wanna take it for a tune. So the AM ECU comes with um, Velcro straps or like Velcro strips. And um, all I did was uh, strap it down to the OEM uh, Type R ECU bracket. So that's how I got mine to sit like that. I also didn't do an install video because it's really, really simple. You just plug in your engine harness and it comes with instructions in the box. Which are right here. 
so it tells you everything the only thing it didn't tell me how to do is I had to call AEM and they told me to go to ECU ECU connection preference and then you have to switch it to USB connection instead of the smart port connection so that's the only trouble that I had with the ECU so real simple there was no problem or anything it's just an option that you have to switch you connect the USB which I'm gonna route this, this is 10 foot I'm gonna route it real nice and clean under the dash over here and then uh, put my ashtray back in here over the coin pocket with the wire so when I go get tuned the tuner can just pull the wire out from right here and hook up straight to their laptop or even use this one if they have to which most most tuners use their own laptop so yeah go ahead and start it real quick So just one of the cool little updates we did to the uh, to the Civic. I think it came out kind of clean right there how we mounted it. So now back to the all wheel drive transmission. So this is a 2002 to 2004 CRV. Uh, five-speed all-wheel drive transmission uh, reason why I went with this trip particular transmission is because it has the RSX shift selector already it has the bracket um, it's pretty much complete it's ready to go and it's not so pricey um, it's still affordable and um, it plugs right in it has a speed sensor in the back just like the rsx um another thing if you're running has port mounts with your case swap you actually just have to buy the rear mount this mount stays the same and your all-wheel drive obviously you got to get your line your diff your conversion in the back which we're gonna do all this stuff here it's gonna have to come down we're gonna be redoing the all-wheel drive conversion and um, yeah that's pretty much it this is gonna be the start of the all-wheel drive so if you guys are gonna be following this build just a little bit of info on the transmission we're using and then we'll go from there that way I don't confuse anyone so I am going to be switching out my mounts because with the innovative mounts you have to switch out this rear one so I'm just going to go ahead and go with all Hasport mounts. Keep you guys updated on the build. Just wanted to show you guys a few parts that I've used here recently that I don't really show. 
on YouTube. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, OEM Works, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. And we will keep you guys updated on the all-wheel drive swap conversion.